Hey guys, this is Easter 007, and this is going to be a two part video right here, the second part which we're going to get to a little bit later, <laughs> this is going to be how to set proper tensions on a cube for you DIY, at least to glow in the dark, because I think I'm going to review for that, so it's pretty good, and this guy's like, dude this cube's crap, mine is, I'm like you got to set the tensions right man, so I'm going to show you how to do that. It might pop a little bit because it's kind of loose, but it's pretty good. And the first part, which is coming up right now, is just going to be all my new cubes I got from Popeye. From the order I had on March 16th, I think. And now it's what, June 17th? Only three months to get here. Yeah, that's good service. Alright, so yeah, let's get to the the cubes I love green tea Ooh, yeah get that out of here um alright so let's start with the two mini type A's yeah these are for my brother and my sister. They're whoa, they're pretty good. I was like, they're actually really fucking fast. I can't even do anything because of my fingers are kind of too big. Next, my white MFA Mega Minx. I think it's. I think there's like two different MFA Mega Minx. I think it's the first type. I'm not sure. I have a link in the just under box thing I'm a jig. Um, it's definitely on my fate though. In my fate. Yeah, well this thing is like a piece of crap right now. And I solved it once, which is really hard. I think my my hands like started cramping up. Um, but yeah, I th I'm gonna loosen it up definitely. And I don't know what else. Definitely lubricated or whatever. Hopefully it'll be pretty good. Better than my QJ, maybe. Because it's... I think it's lighter than my QJ. I need to find that. I'll have a review on this. Well, I'll have a comparison between this and the QJ. Cause, uh -huh. Mini QJ 4x4. 4x4 is my favorite event, for sure. I don't know why. I just love it. Mini QJ is pretty good. It feels like a normal QJ, just smaller. Except for my normal QJ is way more broken in than this. So yeah, this one needs a lot broken in before it's ready to go. Oh yeah. Um, it fits the hands better, even though I have pretty big hands. Like even the small, even for people with big hands, small cubes are usually more comfortable because you don't have to strain your hands and shit. Let's see what's next. Uh, woo. Yeah, tip F two. Where are all this guy's faces everywhere? It's kind of creepy. Shang N. This thing's pretty beast. I have to admit. It feels a lot like my ghost hand. The red ghost hand, that's what it feels like pretty much. It's got like the rounded pieces, which I think is sweet. And this is white, of course, because I love white cubies. I need to get new stickers because it's a white side. I like my black. Black is cool. Um, what else? Yeah, it's not too small. It's like the perfect size. Um. Yeah, I'll probably review on this, even though there's like a bajillion reviews. I will, though, because I'm cool. Huh. The orange sticker kind of sucks. Screw these orange stickers. It's so new ones. It does have the logo thingy on there, the Shang N. Um, yeah, and on to my last thing. Pew, pew. YJ 4x4. Yeah, you knockoff bitch. What the hell do you think you're doing, man? I don't know. I got it because I heard it was sweet. The outside layers were sweet. And yes, they are. You can actually do an H turn on this thing, which is crazy. Never been able to age prim a 4x4 before. What the heck? At least like that. 
This thing has its outside layer is exactly like a DIY because it's perfect. The inside is all clicky, which kind of sucks. I've never modified a cube before, but I'm thinking about modifying this one because it would be amazing. Yeah, I'll take that. Ooh, look at the X. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe it didn't miss a lot. This is bigger than Mini QJ. I think it's like the same size as QJ. I'll definitely review this. Actually, I'll probably compare this Mini QJ and regular QJ in the same video. Be a sweet comparison video. After I've got all my shit broken in. And then. Yeah, I've got a bunch of new videos on the way. I need to learn full play all off. That was really fucking random. Um. Yeah. So yeah, that's all my new cues I got from Popine. They're pretty good, but they're so stupid. I advise just using, if you're from America, use like one of those American ones, American based stores. It'll probably be a lot better. These things took three months to get here. And even though I like them, it's kind of crap that it took so long. Alright, on to part two of the video. Alright, this video is, I'm just going to show you how to make your QFU glow in the what dark DIY actually pretty decent. I mean, it's never going to be the best cube you have, unless you have a crappy store bot, or, I don't know, some other crappy cube, maybe one of those ones from a cracker bell. But this can be a pretty good cube if you get set the tensions right, lubricate it, and all that junk. Yep. So yeah, I'm gonna get into that. All you're gonna need is a cube and a screwdriver. Phillips head, preferred. I have a flat head. I'm probably gonna do some retarded strip the screws or some shit. Oh, and if I sound kind of groggy right now, I'm just a little bit tired. Cause I had a late night last night. We'll leave it at that. So here we go. At first. Oh, yeah, I just realized it actually does have a Phillips on the other side, which is kind of weird. But first, what you got to do is tighten every side all the way. Because then you got an equal starting point on every side, so it's not going to be all confuzzled. So yeah, I already did it to my other five sides, so I'm just going to do it to this one here. Probably being fast forward. Once every side is tightened all the flipping way, you can barely flip and turn this thing. It's so tight. Blah, 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 blah. It's time to loosen it. Which is going to be the fun part. Alright, so. First you're going to remove all the caps. The center caps. So, get the corner piece out. Or the edge piece, I mean. Use your screwdriver. Make sure it's turned sideways like this. Shield the screwdriver right in there. Push it right out. Alright, now that you got all the center caps off, which takes some force, I have to admit, it's pretty tough. You want to start loosening each side by equal increments. Like if you do one, a full turn, you take it from here, and go around a full thing. You want to do that to every side, so it stays equally loose on each side. So I'm going to start with one turn. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> well. Now that you got it loosened, you can tell it feels much better already. You can turn it so fast, it just glides pretty much. Well, not really. But it's a lot better than before. You know that. Now you just gotta fiddle with a little bit so you get exactly how you want it to feel. 